Hello everybody and welcome to a Blender Game Engine tutorial on uh, how to improve your rigs within the Blender Game Engine. Uh, so, what you're looking at uh, right here is a robot that I made right after watching the movie Chappie. Uh, I was pretty inspired, so I kind of started modeling this and then I've been working on it for a couple months, here, like on and off, uh, here and there. Uh, finally finished it, well, not really, but rigged it and uh, thought it might be useful to show you guys how to do some, uh, some rigs in the Blender Game Engine. So. Most of you guys probably already know how to make a model, make a rig, and then attach your model to the rig. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you know, let me know, and I can make a, make a tutorial for that, but there's lots out there. Uh, so, uh, what I want to teach you how to do today is make your rigs uh, better. You can see on the left side, uh, it's dark, there's nothing going on, and on the right side, it's all green and lit up and all happy because I've got some constraints set up on this side. So if I go ahead and rotate some of the bones on this side, you can see they just rotate wherever they want. There's no constraints set up, and it looks ridiculous. If I rotate any of the bones on this side, they've all got constraints set so they can only rotate a certain which way. That's a bad example. There we go. Obviously, this arm would be rotated outwards if you were to fold your arm like that, but it's better if I show you in here. All these are all rigged to only move a certain, uh, you know, way on the X and Y axes and be able to rotate a certain direction and all that, whereas this side can rotate however it wants. Uh, and it's the same deal going on with the legs here. Uh, if I go ahead and rotate these legs, they uh, limit themselves at the knee, and then same going back. So, the other uh, neat thing about this is on the head, where if I move the body down, the head keeps looking forward. He's not, uh, the head is not inheriting the rotation of the body. So, those are some uh, tr tricks I'm going to show you real quick on how, how we can do this. So, first off, I'm going to go to the legs down here and show you guys how I created this rig on this side with these smooth looking legs. So uh, to create a rig like this you're essentially going to go over to your uh, bone constraint tab and add some limit rotation rigs or some limit rotation constraints. Uh, you want to make sure it's on local space. Uh, hopefully your armatures will have better orientations than mine. You can see mine are all wonky so I'm kind of working with what I got here. But basically what I do is just start rotating my bones and give them uh, a minimum and maximum maximum value. Sorry, it's pretty early where I'm from, uh, which is Canada. Just lift this up. There we go. That's a nice max. There we go. And we can do the same thing for this guy down here. Uh, although what I'm going to do, you see if I move this leg. Uh, well, I guess it's already on. Uh, normally, when you're moving these legs, it would look more like this. The leg would just rotate with the uh, the bottom leg, or the, the shin would rotate with the thigh, if that makes sense. But we can uh, disable that by going over to the bone tab and disabling inherit rotation. And what that's going to do is make sure that this doesn't copy the rotation of the knee, so that it actually bends with on its own rather than bending with the knee so it looks more like a leg being lifted and this is nice because you have to do way less animation uh, which is also what I'm going to show you with the IK rigs I mean the IK rigs are really optimal because you can move one bone and animate your entire rig rather than having to move every single little bone so it's really quite nice uh, anyway back to the limit rotation we're going to do the exact same thing we did with our other one uh, but with this one and uh, basically do the yeah do the exact same thing. Just set some maxes, set some mins, and be good to go. Uh, All right. Uh, now it will be the same idea for all this stuff down here, but uh, I'm just gonna uh, fast forward through all this because I like to keep my tutorials short because I know you guys got stuff to do. I got stuff to do, so it's better if we just you know 
get the main skills down in the video, the main ideas, and then you guys can kind of rewatch and kind of figure it out because I think that's really the best way to do it. All right, so I've gone ahead and set some uh, constraints and all these uh, arms here, and uh, it's looking pretty good. Uh, now, all that's left to do uh, is teach you guys a couple of little little things. So, uh, like I said, this is what uh, a head would normally look like. Let's rotate. Uh, it's just kind of static, kind of boring. He's looking down, his arms are not copying the rotation, but his head definitely is. But what we can do is again head over to the bone tab and just disable this. You can see already he looks way more alive. It's, it's crazy what that does. Okay, now what I want to do is teach you guys uh, some really simple uh, IK rigs. Uh, but before I do that, I'm also going to teach you one more constraint uh, that I'm aware of which is really helpful for rigging hands. So, uh, let's say we've got uh, this uh, index finger here, and we want to add some ways so that we don't have to rotate all the fingers. We can just grab one of these fingers, and all of them will rotate. Uh, now, I, I really want you to pay attention to the um, armature more than the mesh here, because my mesh is really not that good, uh, and I just empty grouped parented this, or envelope weight parented this. So it's really not that good uh, weight grouping. You can see the fingers aren't really following the, uh, you know, the actual uh, bones. But anyway, if you head over to your bone constraints, you can add a copy rotation constraint. And then you can put in your own rig and then specify a bone uh, like the right second index. You can set this to local space, local space. You'll see what happens now, is if I rotate this bone, the other bone curls. Uh, the reason this is really useful is because now all I have to do is rotate that one bone, and the entire finger is animated. Now again, pay attention to the, the armature, not the mesh, because it's not uh, enveloped properly, it's not weighted properly. But you see, all I have to do is bend this one, and the finger kind of curls now. So that's just a little, um, you know another little trick you can use some of these uh, constraints for. Uh, and the last one we're going to do is some basic IK rigs. So you can see I've got these bones here. Uh, well, we want to go ahead and name these bones something. So let's left name it uh, leg IK right. And then we'll go ahead and name it leg IK left. Uh, now what we want to do is set uh, these bones or sorry, uh, yeah, these bones to copy the uh, rotation or be, I guess, parented to this bone so that it, uh, you know, rotates as this one moves. Uh, and that's exactly what inverse kinematics do. Uh, so we can set our target to our radar rig and make our bone, our leg IK dot right, and we need to set a chain length of one. And we want it to be the yeah, the position. Yeah, okay. As you can see though, 
uh, it's ignoring all these constraints we actually set on the, the bones. So what we need to do is set some constraints on this bone uh, to limit the location. So, uh, I can set it to have a minimum and maximum x value. One, and then we can copy this and set that ooh, do we want that to the oh, what's going on here ah local space that's why okay so now you can see if I move this guy he's not moving on the y axis or on the x axis uh, so our leg constraint looks pretty good now and you can see that's pretty much what an IK rig does, is all I have to do is move this one bone, and our entire leg is being animated now. And you can do this kind of thing uh, with, uh, uh, whatchamacallums, with uh, legs as well, or sorry, with arms as well. I'm, I'm really tired. It's been a long day. It's too early. Um, yeah, you can do this kind of thing with uh, arms as well, and bodies, and all that kind of thing, so that you only have to move a couple of bones uh, to set up an entire rig, and it really makes rigging a lot easier. Uh, and I know it sounds a little daunting, a little crazy, uh, and it can be at first, but trust me, once you get the, like the hang of these, it's it's not even that complicated, and it really, really starts to make your work just easier for you. Like, and if you can do something to make your work easier for you, why wouldn't you, right? Alright, and we got this bone down here, and again, we need to set some other locations. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So we've set up... Oop, I just hit that bone. Okay, there we go. Some super, super basic uh, IKs, and some super uh, nice looking rigs. So, if you like this kind of tutorial, let me know. It's, I know it's a little different from the other stuff I've been doing, but... Uh, it's one of those basic things that's really overlooked and it can really, really make your work a lot easier. And animators are one of those people that, like, they're really underappreciated, uh, especially people who make rigs. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot of work and uh, if, you, if you make a really nice rig, it makes an animator's job thousands times easier. So, you know, it's uh, it's just a good skill to have and uh, I hope this, this helped you guys at least learn something. If you like these tutorials, head over to astronetwork.com for more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.